Hi everybody, my name is Michelle and I'm here today to show you an easy uh, makeup tutorial for an everyday look. So anyway, let's get started. So I'm using today the uh, Maybelline New York and it is Stylish Smokies. So it's a natural smoky eye and it's very simple and pretty basic. It's a lot of brown colors as you can see in here. So I'm going to show you what I do every day. So I take my fluffy angled brush here and this one is from Bare Essentials. came with a um, kit that I got years back. So anyway, I use this and I go into the base color here. This uh, white one right here. And I put that all over my lid. And I really like this because it's a, a matte base. So it goes on nice and smooth and it just kind of hides those little uh, oh I don't know <laughs> anyway it just makes a nice base for your makeup to stay put and then I take my little round fluffy brush here and I don't know where I got this one I can't remember it's been a long time and I go into this one here at the top. It's a shimmery kind of coppery color and I put that put this down here real quick. I put that right in my crease and just using a windshield wiper kind of motion and I go a little bit above as well just to get an added kind of definition to my eye. So I go up a little bit onto the brow bone almost and just blend that in. Get a nice solid color there. And next I take the darker uh, coppery color and just load that up on my brush and this one will just go into the crease for added definition with the same kind of wind, uh, wiper kind of motion I'm going to get that right in that crease I don't know if you can see that and then down into that corner there Okay, and then next I take, it's actually the liner one, but I use it just for some added definition to the outer corner of my eye. Right in here, just to give it an added little pop there. And just kind of blend it down a little bit. And then I take a mixture of those two colors, those last two colors, the one that we used just in the crease and then the liner, and I put that right underneath my eye. And all the way across. I just want to blend this in a little bit more. So you don't want those harsh lines. And you can even, if you do have harsh lines, you can go back into the lighter brown color at the top here with your bigger uh, angled fluffy brush. And just go back over this area right here. Just kind of blend that out a little bit so there's no harshness. Okay, so now that you have your base and all of your eyeshadow on, 
I like to go into that that base coat again just to make sure everything's nicely blended so I take my little fluffy brush and I go and I hit this right underneath my eyebrow there to give it more definition, more uh, contrast and then I go back into that same color and what I do is I just pull it down right there on the lid and then into that corner a little bit right in here okay now you want to do your liner and I take my black this is from Rimmel don't know if you can see that very well there we go it's just their basic black liner and I've lined the, the top water line in my eye and then I line just a little bit on the top just for some added kind of um, I don't know, a little added style I guess just more dramatic look and I'm just kind of pressing down and kind of just pulling a little bit just to get that color on there so that's a nice thin line I'm going to get all the way into that corner there and just pull and drag it across. So now that you have that on, what I also like to do because I have, I don't know you probably see, I've got some bags under my eyes and so I tend to look a little tired. So what I do is I just line my bottom waterline with a white eyeliner pencil because it helps to make you not look so tired. So now that we have our liner on, I go back into my little palette here and I actually take the liner, the one that's included in there, and I take a simple, this is just an art brush, it's an angled art brush, and so I use that to just fill in the Sometimes there's a, uh, you can see your liner has little places that are not quite covered, so you can take that and just go right over that liner. And this also helps to keep your liner in place all day so that you don't have any kind of problems there. Okay, now you're going to curl your eyelashes. I have my, I don't know if you can see, it's my Sally Hansen lash curler. I really like this one. It's got a nice little padding right there so you don't end up clipping yourself. <laughs> Just hold, press down. I do it for about 10 seconds. And then you're going to put your mascara on, and this is just the uh, Extra Super Lash by Rimmel in black.
So you do your bottom lashes first. And just wiggle and pull down. Okay, and then you're going to do your upper lashes. And I always need to use my mirror because I <laughs> have taught myself to do my lashes this way and never changed. So, same thing, you just wiggle and pull up. Okay, now we just finish off our look with a simple kind of neutral uh, lipstick. Rather, it's lip gloss actually. But I like to line my lips first with the Exaggerate. I don't, yeah, you can't see that. Anyway, it's Exaggerate and it's by Rimmel and it's called, let's see, this color is called Addiction. So we just line right there at the top. Make sure to get that little divot. And then I use the Lip Inflation by Sally Hansen. And so lip gloss. This one is Sheer Blush. I don't know if you can see that. I really like this color though. It's a nice, light, shimmery color. It's perfect for everyday wear. And I'm actually running out of it because I use it so much. And there is your completed everyday makeup look. So anyway, I hope that this helps and I hope to um, get some good responses and see maybe what you guys do. Anyway, take care. Bye.